coming up in today's video. I take the Ruger 10-22-22 LR out after rabbits in the paddock from day into night. Plus, I make a rabbit do an epic backflip. This is Team Foxer. Just before we get into the rabbit action, please make sure you're subscribed and tuning later on this week as I'll be giving one Team Foxer lucky viewer the chance to win this fabulous T18 Artemis torch from Brynite. I've tested it out myself and with its wireless remote, it's a really handy bit of kit. Okay, so here I am with the Ruger 1022, topped off with the Hawk Sidewinder Scope. I'm using the Primos Trigger Sticks and the new Nate Vision Pig Saddle there to aid uh, with my shooting. The first visit here we actually accounted, well we managed to pick up 25. We did lose one or two in the thick vegetation here. You can see at the back of this bank, which is just 63 yards deep, um, there is a um, quite a, a steep incline bank and on the other side of which there's a busy main road. It's quite sandy soil here naturally so it makes a perfect habitat for the rabbits to set up shop. The unfortunate thing is they dig holes uh, in the paddock and they're a danger uh, to the livestock that's kept in here. So here I am with the owner just checking ranges uh, between the several rabbits that are already out in daylight uh, as I get set to take the first few shots. Last time I stood in this location I actually managed to account for nine uh, within the first magazine so we'll see how this goes. It actually sounds louder on camera than it is in real life. I think because the camera zoomed in slightly, the mic sensitivity has increased. So it wasn't quite as loud as it actually seems on camera as I actually miss the second one there. But number three is still in play just to the left of that last post on the back fence there. Using the Pulsar Accolade Thermal, I could see those ones were down and out. There were two more just to the left of me, which were caught just off of camera. Although it's just shy of 65 yards deep, the paddock itself is probably best part of 150 to 200 yards wide left to right and up the right hand side of the paddock uh, where the bushes are even thicker there is a good population of rabbits there so we left the left hand side of the paddock to settle down a bit while i stalked over to the right hand side you can't quite see it again on camera here but there is a, a bulge if you like a vegetation vegetation sorry that sticks out um, so i go and tuck myself behind there and wait for the rabbits to come back out after initially spooking some of them in. That saddle there that sits on top of my Primos trigger sticks, again that's the Nate Vision uh, pig saddle. I'll put a link to that in the video's description because several people have asked about it. You could probably hear there that the loudest part of that was actually the bullet striking the rabbit's head. As this one, as I took the shot, it was about to, to run in and I ended up catching it um, through the midriff. Uh, and that one took a, a quick succession of shots to actually make sure it was down and out for the count. So we've got, actually I've got three down over in this corner. So I thought I'll come and pick these ones up, turn around uh, and go back and see if Mark 
uh, it's spotted any others coming out to the left of the paddock now. It's a good thing with this being split into two really, you can let one side settle down while you go and uh, take care of business the other end. Using the 2-2LR, um, again it's a lovely quiet round. And sure enough, about 25 minutes later as I picked up another rabbit that I'd had on the bank, got back to mark and there was a, a young rabbit out waiting. I actually missed it with the first shot as you can see here, but the second round most definitely found its mark. Check this out. We should have a good. I don't know how many we've got down in here now. Quite a few. Oh, ain't too bad, is it? Yeah, that was it, I think, wasn't it? No, I think that's it. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. Yeah. So what do we get from over here? We've already got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've had twelve then already. Yeah. Twelve, it's not even dark. Indeed, before it got dark, we'd managed to account for 12 rabbits. I was quite happy with that, so we then spent the next hour having a cup of tea and a chat with Mark's dad while we waited for the sun to go down properly. It was now too dark to see using the naked eye, so it was time to fix the night sight system onto the existing rifle. The beauty with this is there's no need to re-zero. The camera simply looks through your existing scope and you're good to go. Although the night sight has a detection range of a good 150 metres, I find fitting an additional IR gives you that extra clarity and I'll be honest I find it hard to beat the PB IRs um, for their clarity and certainly value for money. I'll check out their website there's a link in the video's description. So here I am just checking ranges on the critters that are out in the paddock uh, to see what sort of distances we're on uh, as this one comes running towards me. Now I'm always going to go for headshots on rabbits wherever possible but this one is a little fidgety as it runs even closer towards me. I also need to take into consideration the uh, landowner's fence, I don't want to be breaking his electric fence here as the first shot um, I get a click because I hadn't actually cycled uh, the round properly uh, after our little tea break here. So. But the second round finds its mark and we get the first nighttime rabbit in the bag.
As you will see there, that little mouth squeak will often get the rabbit's attention to sit up enough for you to be able to get a nice clean headshot. I captured a big flash of heat in the thermal there, just quick enough for me to be able to get the night sight recording to see this munchak passing through. Again, I could see another one uh, in the bushes in the thermal very clearly, but through the night vision here, you can only just see um, a peering of eye shine there as uh, the male muntjac uh, was hanging back, didn't want to come out. Unlike this little critter, um, who is about to feel the wrath of the 22LR. Those last two were a couple of the slightly longer shots of the evening, those ones around 75 yards. That's pretty much the left hand side of the paddock cleared out for now, as I just um, indicate to Mark that we've got a few more back out now over on the right hand side. So we head over there to see if we can account for a few more of these before it's time to start thinking about packing up. Luckily, as I get over there, there's a couple of rabbits out at pretty much my zero point. I'm actually zeroed here at 63 yards. This next one's a little bit under my zero here at 50 plus yards, so I actually give this one a little bit of hold under. Notice that I've got the central crosshair underneath the eye, meaning I'm, uh, I'm actually looking to aim at that first notchal above center. Well guys, we've ended picking up 24 rabbits and I think the first time we came was in a similar sort of region so in two outings that's 50 rabbits cleared from this one paddock. It's not the largest permission in the world but the right tool for the job is the Ruger 10-22 22LR. The new Nate saddle um, on the trigger sticks was very handy uh, leaving me hands free to be able to scan around with the thermal uh, and then pick off the rabbits as and when. The Ely match ammo also pinpoint accurate. We only had one or two misses and I think one runner and considering the amount of shots we took I think that was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, stay safe and as always happy shooting.